Okay, looks like we're having some troubles with 836 as well. We need to first create our networked load balancing cluster. So we'll start go to start menu and admin tools and we'll find the network load balancer. We'll go ahead and click continue to get past this uh, splash screen asking if that's what we really want to do. We do. Okay. I'm going to right click in here. Tell it we want to start a new cluster. We're going to put in the name of our first host. So it'll be branch dash SRV1. Hit enter. Next. Okay, this is where we'll add the IP address. Click add. The IP address that we will be using is 172. Dot one seven dot one two dot two two zero and pay attention to the slash twenty four at the end of that. That means the subnet mask. So a subnet mask of dash twenty four is the, is also known as the default subnet mask, which will be two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five dot zero. So that's what we've entered here. Okay, we'll hit OK. So we've got that. Okay, we got that. We will give it its name of srv3.eastsim.com and we'll leave that in. And we want this multicast. Okay. Zero to 1023 should be equally divided multiple connections from a single client then we should be able to add port 1066 All requests for port 1066 should be sent to branch SRV1 first and then branch SRV2 if that's unavailable. So we're, just, we're going to end up setting priorities here. But for now what we're going to do is go ahead and just set this port rule in here. We'll come back and edit this rule in a moment. So post. and we will change the priority. Okay, we'll add the next port which is 1777. So again, we're just doing the same thing that we've done on all the other examples. If it's one specific number, you're just saying from that number to the same number. Okay, and we're going to say TCP multiple host. I will do single Okay, and then we'll set the load weights here in a moment. Okay, and I think I made a quick mistake up here I wanted to fix. This should be only TCP. Okay. Now we go to the next port rule, which tells us port 2000 to port 2999 should be set for both and we're going to just disable this range and one more say add port 5055 5055 both multiple host a client affinity We'll say none. Okay, so we've got all of our port rules entered here. So we'll hit finish. So there are our port rules. So 
right click on this add host to cluster the host we want to add now is the branch dash SRV 2 we want to add that it finds it okay that looks good okay we have all of our rules now we can go in here and start editing some of our rules um, let's see first one would be the 1066 we can give this on branch server 2 we'll give that a lower priority so we'll give that a priority of 2 okay and let's see on port 0 to 1023 that should be equal and it is so we're good on there uh, port 1717 we should have our load weights different here for this server 2 uh, the load weight should be 45 according to our instructions and on the other one it will be 15 so we'll get to the other one and set that to 15 here momentarily okay and the ports 2000 to 2099 those are just disabled across the board and so port 5055 um, let's see we get here and the load weight is anything other than zero so we can just leave that at 50 okay so we should be finished with that and now let's go back into the server one go into the properties to the port rules to clean up those few things that we left behind so those things were the first one should be equal and it is uh, 1066 this guy should have a handling priority of 1 and it does uh, 1777 should have a load weight of 15 so uncheck this change this to 15 the load weight okay and again the this port uh, range from 2000 to 2999 is just disabled across the board and this last port the load weight should be set to zero okay so hit OK there hit OK there okay now let's do a quick read through of our instructions and see what we have and have not done okay so we have a cluster name of srv3.esim.com that's right here and it's using the IP address 172.17.12.220 uh, servers must be capable of peer-to-peer -peer communications in addition to server uh, and communication clustering information as far as I know that should be okay there may be some DNS settings that we need to do there. We'll come back to this one if this one's a problem. All requests for THC, TCP and UDP are, are equally divided. Yes, all requests for 1066. Go to branch server first and then branch server two. We've got that. Uh, 10, 477. Let's see. 1777, 75% of the requests should go to branch server 2 and 25 to branch server 1 we did not get these all correct configure a host identifier of 2 or higher configure a host identifier of 1 so it looks like everything in the video um, was correct other than configuring the host identifiers I'm actually just going to leave those to you to figure out uh, it's not too difficult if you do have any other questions feel free to contact me though thank you